trunks they ever ready assault and battery if you scared you never ready okay this video is going to be about the wrestling stuff in my basement promised this video while I was doing my room tour a couple weeks ago so pretty much just uh, tell you guys there's so much stuff down here and not enough room upstairs for my wrestling things that now a majority of this junk down here is is mine so I guess I'll start from this corner which is where it's all supposed to be but you see during there's just stuff scattered everywhere from classic superstars to just this is my sister's random VHS collection and then you got some sting the uh, brawlin buddies but step over this these are just a whole bunch of figures here you can see just a whole lot of like you know for example you got an ultimate warrior in here nothing's in any particular order at all it's and especially during wrestlemania time i had to go through every single one of these bins to find what i needed so that's why there's a big mess everywhere got a cane one Shawn michaels defining moments just uh you know there's a taz in there Vince McMahon got for Christmas. You see the tape still on there. Yokozuna. Um, and here's some more of the older ones. You got an MVP. You got a Kevin Nash. And Santino there. There's a Mr. Perfect. I'm just gonna take the figures off the bin, so I'll show you guys pretty much what it looks like inside. Okay, so the lid lid is off. These ones are off the top. As you can see, there's just a whole bunch of classic superstars there. You got Jerry Lawler, Rick Rude, there's a Steve Austin there, and Bad News Brown, Ric Flair, Mr. Wonderful. You got another Vince McMahon there. It's an older one. This one, which I always wanted to get signed, but never, uh, I don't know, ladder match. They're called the High Flyers, this set's called. So that's pretty much how all the bins look like. They're just filled with classic superstars. There's um, two of them there. And then we got the WWE board game. I think this is the second edition. And yeah. We got the Eddie Guerrero and JBL 2 pack. We got a Hardy Boys 2 pack. This is from. This is called the Famous Scenes. You put these little sh glasses on and they give you cards. And I don't know. I never really tried using that yet. Uh, there was something else I wanted to show. Uh, whatever. Oh, this. Yeah. This I got at Toys R Us for 99 cents. It's a TNA thing. It was on... I don't know why. It said 99 cents on there, and myself and Legend Killer were like, no, that can't be right. And we went to the cash, we were like, is this 99 cents? And she said, yeah. Even she was shocked about how, uh, how cheap that was. We got a sink. This is my... <laughs> A spare sink we have is filled with stuff. We got a Rock's Defining Moment, TNA 2 pack signed by AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy, Vince McMahon Classic Superstars, Dude Love, I'm getting that signed in June, Macho Man, and then we got an Ultimate Warrior in there. So, I don't know, I think it's pretty obvious to see that I got a whole lot of stuff. You got a Classic Superstars cage. Those of you who've watched my older videos, you saw that set was kind of built in the back and when I first started making videos. Uh, there's nothing here. Some more figures there, Shawn Michaels. And old, these are the old, uh, I guess these are the original, uh, what do you call those, Unmatched Fury figures. You got a gold dust one there. Uh, these are all my loose figures in this bag. They're just filled with a whole bunch of loose action figures. Just pull out a random. This is Steve Austin. You got a Rob Conway. It's a weird one to come out of there. So that's that. I'm turn the light off here. I'm probably, oh yeah, there's more back here. Oh wow. You got a Superfly. Oh, these ones I had two. I was thinking what I should get signed. This was a Jimmy Superfly Snuck I have two of. We got a two-pack of Undertaker and Paul Bearer. And we have another Undertaker here. And then Ultimate Warrior and a Hulk Hogan there. And there's another Hogan in the back. So, now we're going to go over here. I think these are my uh, one of 500s. Yeah, one of 500 of John Morrison. 
that's signed, and one of 500 of Chris Jericho, that's signed also. Come over here, we got the My Night of Champions chairs, I got two of those, and then these are my plaques that I haven't opened yet. Well, I guess I can do this first. Got some classic superstars of uh, Mula, Brooklyn Brawler, Brian Pillman, and then the Champions set. This is empty, I think. Yeah, that's empty, and this one is actually the Austin Aries uh, two pack, or sorry, the one of 100 with the misspelled World Heavyweight title. You got my unmatched Furies there. And then these are, well, here's the whole whole bunch of classic superstars. They were in that bin over there, but my brother needed it, so he just dumped them all on the floor here. And these are my plaques. There's a freaking Yaya 88 Voices pitcher that he's been uh, waiting a couple years for. And these are my DVD covers that are signed. And these are more plaques over here. I think only a few of these are WWE ones. But I'll just go over them. We got a Buffalo Sabres, Thomas Vanek, an original six thing. We got an Edge WrestleMania 27. That's brand new. Undertaker WrestleMania 27, brand new. And then that's nothing. We got a Van Dam 8x10 framed. We got a Daniel DeMello, DeMello Nation. I remember that one too. And then a Kurt Angle. And Kurt Angle 8x10. And that's it for over here. Turn that off. And I think in here are just a bunch of wrestling books. Yeah, there's a bunch of books in there and VHSs. The China book up there. And this one, same thing. A bunch of books and CDs. Turn that off. And lastly, over here, we have uh, just a random classic superstar sitting on top. I got two bins here. This one has, I believe, random, very random stuff in here. From books to uh, video games and to random figures. The Brock Lesnar UFC one. To pictures. So this is from when I met Hulk Hogan. This is their little uh, picture they give you to get signed if you don't have anything to get signed by the guys. I don't know. Just a random magazine cover. Uh, this ROH thing. Got the book, Pain and Passion. Some Owen Hart. But oh, here's a newspaper that they released. I don't know. I should have kept better care of this. The day after WrestleMania 18, this is the newspaper they put out. See DDP, Jimmy Corderas, and Christian on the front of it. And lastly, is this. Oh, this one's heavy. This is uh, my magazine collection. And I guess there's a random book in here too, Pure Dynamite. Should have uh, wanted to read this now after watching his documentary. But, uh, whatever. Just random WCW magazine, WWE magazine. But most of them, I'll just show you one binder. There are a bunch of binders like this. And what I did was I got um, a bunch of plastic slips and I put them in there. So, all of them are filled. I don't think they're in order. June 2000, actually, yeah, they are in order. July 2000, December 2000, August 2000. Yeah, so these must be the 2000s. And I'm um, pretty sure I have all of them from that time. There's a bunch of WCW ones in there also. We got a PWI. But that's, uh, there's Ready to Rumble ad. Probably a WCW one. Yep. That's ow. I just got it. <laughs> that's, uh, oh, that's Jade's uh, suitcase. That's pretty much everything. I know it's uh, pretty hectic, very unorganized also, but um, hopefully one day I have a spot for these that I can, you know, 
you know, instead of having them in a basement, I would like to put them somewhere nice. But until then, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video.